One of the beautiful refinements in, in Resolve 12 to the tracker is this new option here. Now, this is nothing new in terms of functionality. However, this makes tracking in Resolve extremely easier. If you come to the tracker here, you'll notice that we have two new options here. So we have clip and frame. Now, I have this image and I have a window here. I'm simply going to track the window. So I'm just going to hit track forward. And my tracking could have been a bit better. The tracker, you know, faced, uh, you know, some hard areas to track because of the hair. So um, in the beginning, the window is locked to her face. And in the end, you can see the window changes position. Now, in clip mode, if I change anything about the window, like maybe I move it, now the entire window, you see, moved. So now the window is correct towards the end of the clip, but it's completely uh, you know out of place in, in the beginning of the clip and if i correct the beginning of the clip you know towards the end it just moves to the left now i just click the frame mode notice what will happen here once i move the window so i'm just going to move the window here and notice that i automatically have a new keyframe created so what happened here is that we told resolve that the window should move to the right at this point and it's interpolating the position between the two points. So I have a keyframe here at the beginning and a keyframe here. And this includes everything. Like if I come to the beginning of the clip and I change the feathering, like maybe I make it smaller. And when I come to this point here, I want to increase the feathering. Notice what will happen now. It's interpolating everything in this position. Let me undo the um, feathering thing. Okay, now if I come to clip mode, and I change the feathering. Now the feathering have been changed for the entire duration of the track. So it, this makes it extremely easy to edit your tracks. Now this is not new in terms of functionality. We always had this ability in Resolve before, but now it's unbelievably easier to control your tracking through the clip and the frame mode. So for example, if I come here and I just want to move it, you know, I don't think it's the right position here. I can simply click on frame and now just move it to this point. So I can just keep on refining my track in a very beautiful way. Maybe I just want to make it a bit bigger here then move it to this point and maybe just rotate it a bit. Now, one more thing, I'm just going to come back to clip mode and I'm just going to move the uh, frame and I just want you to notice what happens to the window. Notice that it gets smaller. It's actually moving in Z space. This is actually a 3D track. Now, Resolve is moving this window in Z space now. Look at this. This is just impressive.